In our last episode, we talked about lavalier mics you could use to record into your smartphone, and some of you had some very interesting uh, observations, and that is that some of those lav mics were a little bit noisier, had more hiss to them than others. So in this case, let's take a closer look at those three mics again, and that is the Giant Squid Audio Labs lav mic, HMN Sound lav mic, and the Rode Smart Lav. Take a closer look, see which of those is the noisiest and which is the quietest. Check this out. Here we are in Adobe Audition. We have brought in three different audio recordings of my voice from the last episode. This one from the Giant Squid Audio Labs Lav Mic. This one from the HMN Sound Lav Mic and this one from the Rode Smart Lav. So what we're trying to do here is figure out which of these is the quietest. Now, some of you are very perceptive and already picked up on that, so uh, this is not gonna come as a surprise to you, but just as a kind of a more, eh, I don't know if you'd call it more scientific, but maybe a little bit more. Um, so the methodology is I brought those, each of those uh, audio tracks in. I have normalized each of them to put them onto a level playing field, and all that does is it takes the loudest parts of the signal and extend them up to pretty close to zero db and moves everything up in relation to that so this is kind of a practical way of normalizing or kind of evening out the signals and, and putting them on a level playing field now some will argue well you're 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 using a different input level on the recording device for each of these and that's true but at a practical level the question is is how much noise do you end up with when you put it at a level that makes sense for recording to get the most signal out, you know, to get the most loudness out. So that's what we're doing here. And what I've done here is just highlighted a section of silence before each of the dialogue sections. And what I'm hoping to do here is just by running through this silence section, checking to see where that falls on our level meter here and comparing each of the three mics to see which one of them is the quietest. So let's just run through each of those really quickly. A couple of notes, uh, just for reference, just as a quick reminder, zero is the loudest you can possibly get, so our noise floor is gonna be somewhere down here at the lower end. Um, also, as sort of a rule of thumb that I heard from an audio engineer once, and um, I, think it's, I think it's generally holds true, and that is that for every three dB difference, uh, in sound, you can usually tell that there's an audible difference. So if something is at, say, minus 3 dB, peaking at minus 3 dB, and another, um, you know, and then you pull the level fader back a little bit, and then you have everything peaking at minus 6 dB, you, there's an audible difference there, and you can tell with your ears that it's quieter. So that's just sort of a rule of thumb to kind of gauge how much of a difference there is here between these different microphones in terms of self noise. So let's first of all start with a giant squid lavalier mic and let's just run through this a few times. What I'll do is it'll just loop through this silence section here and I've used silencing air quotes because there's going to be some noise from the mic itself. So let's see where that falls. Okay, so that's falling generally between minus 51 dB and maybe minus 55 dB, somewhere in that range. So it's kind of popping around in between there. So that's a, that's a pretty good baseline. Let's take a look now at the HMN Sound, the lavalier mic, and just see where that one falls. And that looks to be between about minus 44 and minus 49. So that one definitely has more self noise than the giant squid. Um, that's just one measure. So let's move on to the Rode Smart Lav. Okay, and the Rode Smart Lav was generally between minus 45 and minus 46. The Rode Smart Lav is the noisiest of the three mics in terms of self noise. Uh, the HMN sound is in second, and then the, the quietest of them is the giant squid. So if you're you know, trying to make a decision between these three mics, this is just one piece of information. I think the other thing to consider is um, obviously the device you're recording into. If you only have a smartphone, um, eh, that, that, that issue kind of goes away as well if you get the My Mic connector, which we talked about in our last episode. Go check that out if you didn't see that. But um, I think that what it kind of does is it makes the case for going with either the giant squid or the HMN sound. Now between those two, there's still the question of, okay, which one of these excels at what? The giant squid uh, seems to be the quietest, which is a great feature. The HMN sound, as we talked about last time, uh, seems to do, seems to have more capture in the higher frequencies. So if you need a, 
um, a more even overall mic. And I don't know if even is the right term because it does tend to emphasize some of those higher frequencies, maybe in some cases a little too much. Um, but it, they're different sounds. So um, if I had to make a recommendation, I would say go with one of these two, the Giant Squid Audio Lab or the HMN Sound. I would think those one of those two with the My Mic connector would be the better bet. And uh, we're looking in terms of pricing. The Giant Squid is going to be $40 US plus $20 for the My Mic connector and then the HMN Sound is $80 US, and I believe that now comes with a, uh, a device very similar to the My Mic connector. It actually is shipped with that, so you've got a great option there um, to record into your smartphone if that's your what you're doing. Now, the self-noise generated by a mic is only one factor when you're looking at a mic, um, but it is a pretty important one, so I hope you found that helpful, at, at least in deciding between those three mics. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, go ahead and do that. We'll be sure to get you more great videos on how to improve your lighting and sound for video. Talk with you soon.